Yeah, hey everyone, how you doing? I just thought I'd do a quick video today about some boom boxes that I've made. Um, and the video is not really about how to make the boom boxes itself. I might, in a separate video, um, open this one up uh, here uh, and show everyone uh, what's inside um, in case that helps anyone uh, make something similar. Uh, but the video today is really about uh, how to use just standard uh, tool batteries, these ones here, uh, to to power the uh, uh, boom boxes uh, because that's something that uh, not many people uh, uh, seem to know how to do. Uh, there's lots of videos on how to make boom boxes and lots of people seem to be uh, using car batteries or um, sort of wiring up um, uh, lots of um, uh, AA uh, size batteries uh, uh, to make it uh, uh, portable um, and uh, you know uh, you know, again, I think um, uh, the easiest thing to do is to actually use one of these tool batteries. Uh, so this video today is going to show you just how to do that. Uh, so I'll probably start with, uh, and again, the principle really is that um, just lift this one up. Uh, this is an Altec Lanzig uh, IMT810. Uh, so the principle is that you've got these uh, sort of USB type chargers or um, or even like an old tool uh, sorry an old torch uh, which actually uh, you can use to, to take the power uh, out um, from one of these batteries and actually supply the supply the boom box um, this one here was built with a uh, small amplifier that's just in behind this board here uh, or this this part of the the toolbox. This is an actual uh, a, a toolbox that I've just repurposed and used it to to make this boom box. So there's a little amplifier in here, and it takes I think it takes 18 to 24 volts. Um, and again, so what I've done is use uh, I think this was a uh, it was a USB charger again. Um, so something that um, takes your standard tool battery um, and has a USB output on it. I've just cut that up. Um, and uh, wired uh, from the other side there uh, you can't really see in there but there's a, there's a power supply uh, wire uh, that takes uh, the charge um, uh, directly uh, from the battery uh, and, and powers, powers the amplifier there uh, so that's really the principle of it uh, again hopefully this will help someone else uh, uh, to a similar project, this one here, you know, again, is a, is a standard, uh, standard AEG, and I think in the states, uh, AEG uh, tools are called uh, rigid. Uh, it's got a standard USB uh, charger um, that actually has both both the USB output, whereas up there, um, but it also has a 12 volt uh, output from it, uh, just on the side there. Um, and one thing. Um, that I worked out is a lot of these uh, these Logitech uh, speaker docks um, have a 12 volt uh, power supply, um, so the 12 volt from there uh, works perfectly um, on on that dock um, to make that portable. And again, so the principle is you can just plug that battery in uh, and that'll power it on. Um, so that would actually be connected up to to Bluetooth. Um, you can also, of course, use an old an old iPhone in there. Um, so I might play that one last because um, obviously the, you know, the size of that um, compared to, to the size of those, um, that one's got a lot less uh, power in it. Um, but again, the same principle does work, and I mean that's perfectly sort of portable. We can take that around; it's quite light. So what I might do now is I might just turn this one around and power this one on. Um, give everyone an idea of how much power you can actually generate from from using again one of those tool batteries. Um, one other thing to note: it says at 18 volt, um, and I think in, again in the states um, they're actually um, sort of marketed as 20 volt max um, batteries, uh, the 2 volt. Um, and as I'll show you, um, so I'll just do a quick demonstration of plugging that in. It's literally just as simple as sliding that in. Clicks into place. Um, 
So the actual voltage when you measure it, and again there's a voltage measure there, a voltage meter I should say there, um, when you actually measure it, see it comes up as, as, as 20.3 volts, um, which again is plenty uh, powerful enough to, to power this up. So I'll just turn this up a little bit. And that is, I mean, that is very loud. Um, the uh, maximum volume, so I mean, it's, it's seriously loud. We'll turn up one more, one more knot. So it also has Bluetooth, this unit here, um, that flashes blue when it's got Bluetooth and it's connected up to a, to a tablet via Bluetooth. It um, also has a uh, USB uh, uh, thumb drive uh, support so you can play directly off that and obviously the quality of that is slightly better than, than uh, Bluetooth. Um, so I think to sort of notice about this uh, unit here is it's got its uh, a separate subwoofer, uh, I think it's an 8 inch uh, subwoofer, it's about the biggest I could fit in here, because um, what I had to do was obviously I had, had to build this out from, from the back, um, just to, to have enough room for the, for the kind of the uh, subwoofer in there, uh, and I've made that into a, to a separate in, enclosure, um, so that's fully sort of sealed uh, subwoofer unit, um, and it's got um, so it's some acoustic uh, foam in there, um, to help um, make sure there's not you know, too much sort of bass rattle. But I mean that's you know, seriously powerful. I mean that, that table's literally uh, rattling now. quick demo of uh, that one, I'll just turn that off now, um, probably a thing to notice about before I move on to the next one, uh, obviously it's got the uh, separate uh, separate components for crossover in there, um, and if I was building a you know, Bluetooth boom box or any sort of boom box, I'd definitely use that set up as well as possible, you know, if possible having the separate subwoofer, you get so much uh, so much better clarity, um, you know, what throughout the sort of frequency range from having that set up, um, so I'll turn that one off. Uh, and it's just the other thing to, to note, um, and what's important I think to have the voltage meter is that you can very quickly or very easily uh, see when the when the battery um, uh, starts to you know, the battery capacity starts to, to drop. So that amplifier again was rated uh, I think between 18 and 24 volts. So I usually um, 
just watch when the voltage starts to, to drop and if it drops too much below 19 that's when you should swap the battery out. Um, you know, again the benefit you know, of, of using you know, the, the tool batteries is that again you can very easily swap a battery over so if that one you know, runs low uh, it's at full capacity now. Um, yeah, but again, if it starts running low, you can just take that out and, and swap it over uh, with, a, with a fresh one. Um, so moving on to probably this unit here, um, there's some sort of great benefits of this unit. Um, so again, same sort of principle. It's got a different battery, an AEG battery. Um, if I just slide that in, just again locks into place fairly easily. Uh, it's locked into place. Uh, it doesn't move around. There's just enough clearance um, there so that the battery is actually not resting on the, the ground there. Um, so the benefit of, of this unit um, is that it actually had an iPod dock in it. Uh, I've managed to um, show that cable. So I've managed to, to adapt that so, um, so it has a lightning uh, connection on it, uh, which means I can um, play the, uh, or use the sort of newer um, uh, iPad. Um, it's just an iPad Air. Um, so I'll just so I'm just unlocking that. Um, and now, so so the benefit of, of this unit, I think, the, the because it's got that iPod dock, um, is that the cl and it's not using Bluetooth, obviously, is that the clarity of it um, you know, is, is 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 really nice. Um, and you know, it's got a nice look, I guess, having the tablet there. You can put TV or movies or whatever on there as well, as well as music. <laughs> so I mean, the, I mean, the clarity of that, you know, that it's still got a lot of power. But the clarity of it, you know, is, is probably much better than uh, playing something through, through Bluetooth. Um, Again, it's got the same speed configuration. It's got you know, separate you know, sort of components with sort of mid-range and uh, tweeters, and then it's got its own subwoofer. I think it's got a passive passive radiator on the other side. It actually has quite a lot of bass. It's got this one's got a remote control, which you know, again is quite handy. And so that that unit was, I think it's it's about 10 years old. That now. Um, and it, and it was about a thousand uh, Australian dollars when it um, when it was first new, which is amazing. It's uh, it's been pretty high tech when it first came out, but um, I think I picked that up for about seventy dollars now. So I mean, if you can find one of these uh, second hand, uh, I think it's well worth uh, well worth getting it. Um, you know, again, so particularly if you're going to do it off, don't want just to convert it into a to a portable boombox. So what I did there, I'll just sort of, sorry, um, what I did there was, I actually took, it had a battery compartment underneath here, um, where you could put, I think, size C batteries in there, um, but you needed about eight of them, I think. So that's what, I've just cut that out, um, so I can install that, that tall battery holder, and I've had to raise it up a little bit with some uh, sort of rubber feet at the bottom, just to raise it up. Um, but yeah, I guess it's a very nice unit, that one. Um, that that battery, the, the tool battery, doesn't actually supply enough uh, enough current uh, through the iPod dock to actually charge the um, charge the iPad. Uh, it seems to almost just stop it stop it discharging. It doesn't actually charge it, um, so it's sort of not charging there. Um, so you know, again, it's not per, it's not a perfect setup, and it doesn't have enough. Uh, power to, to both um, you know, drive the amplifier and charge the, the iPad, but you know, again, I'm, I'm pretty happy that it has enough power just to just to power the amplifier because it, again, it's a, it's a really nice clear um, sound that comes out of that. Uh, again, plenty of bass, um, but also nice high end frequency there too. So turn that one down. Um, what I might do, well, probably don't need to, but, but again, so this is um, like a commercial uh, sort of worksite 
worksite radio. I uh, just thought I'd maybe even just give a quick demo of this. Um, so people can get a, an idea of the, um, you know, the sound quality again, just from I mean, the amplifier unit that's in, in there. I think sounds as sounds as good as that, that commercial one. Uh, if, if not slightly better because it's got the USB um, thumb drive support. Um, so I'll just play something on here. Um, yeah, I think mean, it's, it's, it's an amazing unit, this one here. Um, but see, that's actually a, 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 oops, it's at a reasonable volume. Um, and, you know, sort of sound quality of, of this Altec Lancet unit is, is probably, it's probably better. And again, I think this, is, this has got even more power. It's probably the most powerful out of all of them. Um, but I mean, the sound quality from, from that is, is pretty good. Um, but again, that's sort of several hundred dollars versus you know, trying, to, trying to do it yourself and uh, make one yourself. Uh, so I'll turn that back on. Uh, so I hope, uh, hope this video has sort of given people some some ideas and uh, you, know, um, you know about how to how to use these these tool batteries. Um, these sort of tool batteries, you know, again, you don't need to use a car battery uh, or even wire up you know several of your own sort of single cell batteries, um, you know, to make one of these work. You you can use tool batteries, and it's it's not that hard to to do. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, send through any, any questions if uh, anyone wants um, me to explain anything in a bit more detail. And as I say, what I might do in another video is actually take this apart. Uh, I sort of built it so you can actually undo those latches. And there's a couple of screws to, to undo here as well. Um, but I can actually um, sort of fold that out. And you know, if I need to do any sort of maintenance or, or fix anything, it's quite easy to get to. And I can show people what the inside of that looks like if uh, anyone would like to see that. Alright, again, thanks for, for watching and uh, uh, watch out for, for more videos. Cheers.